in the church, we do not have dress police. We do not have the dress code police in the church. That's it. We are not responsible for policing each other's behavior. Our behavior is between us and the Lord and, and the bishop, and he's the one that declares we declare our worthiness to. That's the measure. So we are expected to be a self-correcting people. Hmm. That's not the business we get into as sisters of the church. If, if the bishop wants to assign somebody to take care of talking about this or approaching it a certain way, then that's, that's a specific. But in general, that's not our responsibility. We, we can lead by example. We can love. We can uh, teach principles, and we can be kind, and we don't reproach because we're all in a different place and in our covenant keeping. I have met sisters who come to the temple with plastic bags on their feet. And why? Because they don't own shoes. They want to come to the temple in a respectful way. It's that attitude the Lord is looking for. Now, the other part of the question, how it applies to you. <laughs> so it, it might be, should I be wearing pants to church? Um, the rule of thumb, which I have for myself, is that where ordinances are taking place and covenants are being made, the standard of dress is higher. That's a place, that's a sign that we understand the importance of an ordinance and a covenant, and we're willing to reflect that in the way we dress. I think in our culture that has become so casual in general, we think that all events have the same importance and formality, but they don't. We have formal places to carry on the Lord's work where we make covenants. And then we have a lot of casual opportunities too. So we have to, we have to get grown up about this doesn't take a genius to know if this is a serious event or a casual event. <laughs> and we know what's happening when we don't need a big Sunday school lesson or a Relief Society lesson to tell us what's serious and what's casual in the church. We all, um, maybe that's a generality, but comfort wear becomes the order of the day. We Feeling comfortable is better than being in something that's a little less comfortable. But if it's a formal event... We shouldn't be looking for comfort wear. You'll notice the styles even in temple dress have moved away from the idea of comfort wear for men and women. Where we used to offer for sale in church distribution a jumpsuit for men, we now have trousers and a shirt and a tie. Why? Because the temple isn't where we go to settle down and get comfortable and take a nap. It's not the same as watching TV at home working in your yard. This is a serious place and serious covenants are being made and we dress with a certain formality for that occasion. The same with the sisters in their temple dress. This isn't where we put on our most comfortable nightgown and sit down and take a nap. We're in there to make covenants either for ourselves or for somebody else. And the way we dress is a reflection of what the Lord has happening in that temple.